Okay, I'm having a hard time <laughs> recording this flip through. First, the camera kind of froze. It's the first time it does that. And then it was saying it had a car card error. So anyway, let's do this before it acts up again. I'm trying to get there. There it is. As most of it as I can. Anyway, I decided to use this as a front page. So I have a, a Cupid Angel on the front. I hope I have enough light. And I used this nice ribbon that I got from, it's a trim from Hobby Lobby. Most of the laces I already had in my stash and some I got from Hobby Lobby and from uh, my local Walmart. Uh, this is a, uh, the white background here is a uh, ooh, table runner I believe or a placemat that I found and I cut up. So that's the front page. Put a little bow here. I had these in my... No, I cut these up. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. So that's the first page. And that's how the, the binding looks. The binding. So here's the second page. The way uh, they do this is uh, uh, one page, the second page is a uh, a pocket page. It's just like the, um, the book journal, but it's done on with lace and fabric. So I made this little heart. I put a, a little image I got with some roses. And this puffy heart I had in my stash and I added this tassel and I tied it up there with a bow. <clears throat> I was gonna put it in here but it would get lost and this would get all, you know, messed up so I just hung it there. I crocheted this leaf. I made this flower with some netting and lace. So there's the pocket. This is a white, uh, trim that I have crocheted ribbon and it's uh, joined here it has a ribbon running through it this is from an old uh, wedding dress that I got I took this trim off and this is uh, the third page or the second page the front of the second page There's another nice image, and I have this uh, applique butterfly. I put some pearls on it. This is a pearl trim, and some more lace, some bling here. Uh, where did I get this bling? I think it was from Want to Scrap, or no, maybe it was maybe online I believe. Here's a crochet, uh, I had a crochet doily but it was too big so I cut it. These here are from Want to Scrap. This, uh, well, you turn the camera on and you forget how to speak. What do they call this? I, f I had it in my head right now. Seam binding. Oof. <laughs> Seam binding is from an Etsy store. I got that a couple of years back, so I don't even remember the name of it. But it was from uh, Etsy, I believe. So here's a pocket page. Here's another crocheted uh, placemat I cut up. Then this is part of it, and this is the edging, and some trim around this little image here and I put some ribbon flowers here on this spray. A nice 
this pink spray and this little uh, trim here so pretty I think I got that at Walmart and this is a nice trim it's got sequins so that's the pocket page there's nothing in there you can the idea of this book you can put some uh, things you know like uh, movies you've been in to you've been to with your loved one and stuff like that some memories isn't that a nice image I got my images from these I got from Pinterest these are some some of those flowers that trim that has flowers like this one here I don't remember where I got that. So anyway, I put some little ribbon flowers in it. It's, uh, this looks so dark. This is a nice beaded flower. Uh, can't think of the name of the place I got that. And I found this beautiful um, lace in my stash. So pretty. Some of these uh, laces used to belong to my mom. So here's the pocket page for this. And here I made a tag. I used a ribbon, a Christmas ribbon. It's from Jacqueline Smith, this ribbon right here, and it's got a nice uh, kind of metal beaded on the edges. I just folded it and glued it shut. I always keep an eye out for these uh, ribbons because you can use these for a lot of other projects. I found this one on the clearance they had after Christmas. This one is lace, it's double, and it has a, a pearl trim on the edge. This one is really cute. So anyway, I haven't used that one yet. So here's the, the tag. I have the image here, a cupid. It says, loving greeting. I hushed um, it with this little trim. And these are uh, some resin buttons. Nice trim. And th it had a little basket here with flowers, so I put these uh, three ribbon flowers there. And this frame. Let me see. I got that from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And it's Tim Holtz Ideology, Baroque Frames. In case you want to get one of these. it's They come two in a package. So I thought I'd use that there with this little, these two little cupids. And they're pretty. So this is a doily folded in half. These are from a uh, wild orchid, wild orchid crafts, I believe. What does that sell? That was the name I was trying to remember before. I got these little angels, and I had been, you know, they had been in my stash for a while. Wild orchid crafts, I believe. This is a swirl, and he's a swirl from one to scrap. Uh, the bling and some ribbon. These buttons. Uh, let me turn this. Well, the sound off. So these I got in a fabric store. They call copper here. These heart buttons. They're metal. I believe I have one left. 
and these pearls, I think they're from Hobby Lobby, the pearl strap. And I made a bow out of this ribbon. And the last page, which uh, originally I thought this was going to be the first page. This was the first one I made, and it's a little smaller, but I, I like the other one for the front, so I decided to put that one in the front. There's some of that uh, box pleated ribbon, some more adhesive swirls from one to scrap. These really stick well. I didn't put any hot glue or anything and they're still there. You know, they really have a good adhesive. And this is uh, paper. Some images that uh, Sonia de Jesus sent me. Uh, want to scrap words. Uh, made out of shipboard. Oof. And <laughs> there's some lace and some this is a ribbon it's right here uh trim with hearts i've had this one for a long time too i don't know where i got that and this nice little uh lace here and a pocket I use some of that nice button trim that I love that May uses this a lot. It's from Hobby Lobby. And uh, this is part of that cut up uh, table mat or placemat. This is uh, the edge. Uh, one of those fabric flowers with a resin rose in the center. Pearl strand. And a nice bowl and some that I got this after I started the albums because I needed some uh, lace, you know, for dangles. Some fiber, eyelet fiber. And that's it. That's my book. I love it. Look how chunky it is and it's nothing compared to the one May made. I, the other shipboard, I'm, I'm going to make a uh, wall hanging with it, and I have this nice heart that Sonia sent me, and I don't know if I'm going to paint it, but I, I really have my mind set. She got this at Michael's. I have my mind set on using this on the other, on the, whatchamacallit, the wall hanging. It's made out of metal, but I'm going to take this ribbon out and maybe paint it all white and distress it. So that's what I'm going to use for the wall hanging. I thought about using this but for the book, but I'm going to use it for the wall hanging. And I have this beautiful heart here that I didn't get to use. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? That's from that store I told you about, Capri. So yeah, I'm gonna and look at these. These are from Walmart. They're kind of too colorful for a shabby. But I might use it for the wall hanging, who knows. So there's my book. Can't think of anything. I wanted to say something, but I forgot. So anyway, if you're interested in this kind of work, you can join the group May Larson's Designs, and they're making a lot of beautiful books, and it's really nice if you're into lace or you've never done this before, you can make smaller ones, but the thing is, using the shipboard, it's a lot sturdier, the pages aren't flimsy and they hold their shape and they're easier to maneuver so I really love this book and maybe as you go through it you might decide to add things to it 
So that's my share, my flip through, and I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll try to answer them. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!